God bless you. God bless you. This is the prophet Leon Tate, pastor of Lily of the Valley Church of God in Christ here in the city of Rochester, the state of New York, coming uh, uh, to you this morning with our, our quick wow lesson. You know, last week we talked about tithe. I want to continuously, uh, for you to continuously do that because of the benefits that are connected to tithing and the curses that are connected to non-tithers. Uh, but today I want to give you a quick word and we'll go back to that as I said before as the uh, weather begin to change and we begin to set in and we'll do some in-depth teaching um, concerning that or finish off because I actually have uh, 52 lessons. Uh, so uh, we'll uh, go to that. But today I want to encourage you uh, and I, this little thought, a term that's been used, and I've used it loosely for years and never really thought about what it meant until uh, recently, uh, and that is uh, God is beyond a shadow of doubt. He's beyond a shadow of doubt. You understand? And I want to I talk to him, and what came to mind were a couple of scriptures, number one, Philippians uh where um, one in six, I believe it is, where it says being confident of this very thing that who had begun a good work will perform that work. Uh, and, and, and I looked that up and in the Greek, you understand, it, it, it means uh, to be convinced. You, you understand? It means uh, uh, to reflexively, passively, to, 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 to rely by inward, to rely on by inward certainty. Did you hear that? To rely on by inward certainty. And then once you rely on, you're relying on it by inward certainty, then you are confident and you believe and you agree, you understand, you feel assured, and then you, 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 you try to persuade others to the same train of thought. Did you hear that? Which brings us to Matthew chapter 6, you know, where it say, take no thought for today. Don't worry about it. Now, that does not mean that, 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 that you're not a good steward. That does not mean that you don't practice good habits and good be behaviors. What that means is, is that the more that you and I uh, believe in God, obey God, follow the word of God, live for God in front of people, when you're not in front of people, that the more assurance that you have. I know that some people's belief system, because we're all born with a measure of faith, but some people's belief systems are different than others based on their relationship with God. But I've also found out that, uh, that, that, that God, uh, uh, because he know you can't handle all of his goodness at once, the closer you get to him and build relationship with him is the more he reveals who he is of himself to you as the individual. Do you hear what I'm saying? And the closer you get with God, the closer God is with you, the more that he exposes you or, or, or reveal probably is a better word where it concerned God in this sense, uh, that he reveals himself to you. And so when you talk about, uh, I believe, and I used that term for years, and so I wanted to think about and find out what it meant. It, it, it means that when you believe beyond a shadow of doubt, it means that you are certain that is true. Hallelujah, God, that, that touched me. It means that we are certain. There is no doubt that, 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 that he who we believe in, uh, even concerning his word, we are certain that it is true. We believe that God is, is so responsible that whatever he says he's going to do, he's going to do it. Whatever he says he can do, he can do it. Whatever he says that, that, that will happen, it will happen. And then you can validate it by scriptures. You understand? He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He said, my word will not go out and return void. He said, I know your thoughts are far off. He said, I know what you have need of. Excuse me. Even before you ask. Excuse me. Hallelujah. Even before you ask. He said, I, I, I know what you have need of. And he said, so you don't have to take thought. You don't have to. In other words, you don't have to be worried. 
about. And then in Matthew chapter number six, he begins to, 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 to say things and begin to itemize, if you will, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, what you shall drink for, uh, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. In other words, in other words, your clothing, I supplied. And I know you went out and I know you picked it out and I know you went to certain stores to pick it up or purchase it. But, 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 but it's God. It's God that's doing the providing. It's God that's giving us the ability to do it. And all I'm trying to tell you is that no matter what you're going through now, but if God did it for you one time, if God did it for you last year, if God did it for you last month, if God did it for you last week, if God did it for you yesterday, if God did it for you when you got up this morning, because he did do that, wake you up, then God is able to do it now next year, next month, y'all ain't talking to me, to next week and tomorrow, you understand? And in, in an hour from now, he's able. And what we ought to do as we grow in Christ, as we live for God, we are, our confidence in God is supposed to become stronger, not weaker. Amen. I, I, and really think about the thought process on that, 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 that when I win, now in fighting, They'll tell you never go to the well uh, too many times or he went. Uh, that means don't throw the same punch all the time for it can be telegraphed. So when you are in a fight, that's different in that type of uh, a combative arena. But in the spiritual realm, you understand where we believe by faith. You understand? And we want to please God. Our faith pleases God. And when our faith pleases God, it moves God to manifest in us in a greater way. You understand? We know, according to the scriptures, that it is impossible to please God without faith. You understand? Hallelujah. For you must first believe that he is and that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. See, this is key for us. As we seek the Lord in prayer and in reading scripture and in and meditating on God's word, we build, we get in a closer proximity, hallelujah, with him, in a closer proximity, I feel you, Holy Ghost, in a closer proximity with God, and the closer we come to God, the greater our confidence, the more we find out about God, the greater our confidence, and that's when our belief goes up, and our certainty comes to bear, and we can believe in scriptures, like that, 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 that if you have the faith, of a grain of mustard seed, the smallest seed of all the seeds that it can do, that, that you can take that and move mountains. Y'all ain't talking to me. And whatever the mountains are in your life, you don't have to go look at Mount Everest because some people have Mount Everest situations in their life that they're dealing with, colossal situations, Goliath situations. But God is saying, whatever, hallelujah, be tidy. He will take care of you. Hallelujah. Whatever your problem is. And so he's beyond a shadow of doubt. We have certainty. Hallelujah. And so he begins to tell him, behold, uh, verse uh, Matthew 6, verse 26, behold the fowls of the air. Uh, in other words, look at them, for they sow not, they don't put no time in, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? God, Jesus is asking the question. You understand? You are the apple of his eye. Hallelujah. He is mindful of us. Y'all ain't talk. He said, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to bring you to an inspected end. And when you look at the fowls of the air, all they do is go and pick up. Now, if they do give back to the earth, and, and don't y'all take this wrong, it is, it is through eating uh, seeds and defecating the seeds somewhere else, uh, and they and they go into the ground and die and 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 and, 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 and uh, bring forth, but from the natural sense, but but they don't do anything. They fly around and they eat. You understand? But yet God makes sure that there's provisions for them to eat. 
Uh huh. Uh, which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubic to your statue? And you know, all of us, if we could do that, uh, some of you want to be a certain height, you just make yourself that height. Some of you feel like you're too short, you just trim yourself back. Now, that's different than uh, uh, gaining weight. You understand? You can lose weight on your own if you put the work in. Or you can gain weight on your own if you're willing to put the work in. But you can't add to yourself. You understand? Only God who constructed you, who designed you, who made you is able to do that. So why are we tripping, you understand, about certain things when the God who made us, who knows the very numbers of hairs that are upon our head, the one who gave us life, the one who watches over us, you understand? It seems to me like we would be confident. And it's crazy because sometimes we've had confidence in our baby, in our big brothers. We've had confidence in our sisters and in our parents and and some of us here on this side of heaven, your dad was one of the greatest men you have ever known. Your mother was one of the greatest women that you've ever known. And we'll have confidence in them unto death. You understand? Some of us as parents, we, we, we love our children almost to death. That we, when, especially when they're young, we'll die for them. You, you, you understand? But nobody can take the place of God. Well, how can we not have confidence when we can have confidence in this type of flesh, which we we're not supposed to, but not be certain about the God who made us. Hallelujah. That's what it means. That's what it means. Let me read that again. It means certainty. Hallelujah. When you are beyond the shadow of, of uh, when you are beyond a shadow of doubt, you are certain that it is true. You are certain that the 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 individual is 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 responsible. Hallelujah. Is responsible enough to do. You are persuaded. You are convinced. Hallelujah. That, 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 that he is. And that's why the scripture says, Philippians, being confident, being convinced, being certain, but not just sometime, but all the time. And that's what we've got to grow to. That's what God is trying to get us to grow to. Matthew 6, 28, and why take ye thought for raiment, clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow and toil not, neither do they spin. Hallelujah. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Some places the flowers grow year round. Here even where I uh, live, and praise God, uh, when it talked about flowers, not shrubbery, uh, 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 there are flowers. I think they're annual, no perennials. That 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 they. I got some in my yard. They're drying up. They are dying. And some I cut back. You understand? So they'll grow straight. I cut back during this season. But yet, when it's time for them to come forth, they come forth. You understand? It don't matter. Uh, uh, uh they come forth. When their season come, hallelujah, they spring up even when it's colder than normal during that time of year. You know how sometimes you have some real cold days, maybe uh, uh, in a season that's not supposed to be like that. But yet when their season come, they come up out that ground. That's God. And if God can do that, that means that whatever season you're in in your life, that when it's time for your season to come, I don't care if people want it to come. I don't care if they, 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 they're saying that this is not the right time for you. I don't care what the, the, if the judge said no. When it's your season, everything have to come into alignment with the word of God. And you ought to be certain that if it's God's will, he's going to work it out for you. And you ought to be certain and believe that he's responsible to do it. Hallelujah. And so he gives us and tells us that that even um, uh, these uh, lilies of the field. And he said, and yet I say unto you that even Solomon and all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if you so clothe the grass, if, 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 if say, wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, meaning that it's gone forever. Shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? 
Our problem is our lack of faith. Our problem is, is, is our inconsistency uh, with faith. Yes, we're saved. Yes, we believe. But it is not the mustard seed belief. See, the mustard seed belief, even though the seed is the smallest of all the seeds, but it is so pure till it don't take but a little bit. Now, I want to tell you something that's kind of a little bit off task, but I, my uncle used to grow peppers. You know, he had his garden and stuff. And back then, and I paid a price for it. Uh, used to eat a lot of hot peppers in 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 and he had, I don't know what these peppers were this this time, but he would uh can some of them. And he had some peppers that were so hot that I'm talking about like the tip of my of my my fingernail. You understand? I could just eat a little piece and feel like my stomach was boiling. And it's almost like I was addicted to them. And my mother-in-law and them, uh, uh, they, they got hold of them things and threw them away. You know, at the break. I mean, just it was just that potent. And then you have some mints. I've had some mints, some lozenges, just a little one. Well, and, and, and I'm telling you, it was so potent, it just run through your body. Well, God is, is light years away from that, that mustard seed faith. That faith, he said, but he said, but he said, but what's wrong with you? Oh, ye of little faith. We don't even have the mustard seed faith. You understand? Because faith is pure. Faith is, is not only now, faith is not only the subject of things hoped for, the evidence not seen. Faith says that you believe, watch this here, in the faith. Lord have mercy. And that's what make things come. So so now faith is the substance of things hope for the evidence of things not seen. And what he's saying is faith is, faith is confidence or belief in the faith. The faith, what Jude talks about, which was once delivered unto the saints. There is no other faith. The faith is the word that God uh, 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 put in the earth and he told us to earnestly contend for that faith and that faith alone. So all of these other things and words that people are saying and bringing is nothing more than uh, 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 something that's strong, that's being diluted. You understand what I'm saying? And we've got to be careful of this. We've got to be careful of people leading us into weakness by saying stuff that, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, whatever. No, when you're really confident in something, when you're really certain about something, when you're really assured about being healed, I don't care what you feel. I don't care what they say. I don't care how it look like. I don't care if you lose an oxygen and it feel like that, that, that you're about to go out for the last time. When you really have the faith that God is talking about, it moves mountains. Hallelujah. And that's why we've got to be careful. You know, the Bible talks about, oh, foolish God, unless you have bewitched you. It means who have, who have turned you, who have, who have fascinated you to the extent uh, 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 that they're pulling the cover over your eyes. You understand? They're making you doubt what you see or what you know to be true by false representation. You understand? To bewitch by false or fascinate. You understand? You know, people are fascinated through uh, certain people that talk now. They're, you know, they're not fascinated by this hard truth that's uh, that's pure love, but they're fascinated by all of these parlor tricks and all of these these circus acts in church that we call church and no more than entertainment. And, 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 they're, and, and they are drawing people by what they're offering. You know, the circus saying that we got tiger shows and, 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 and we got dolphins going to be performing and killer whales are going to be performing. And people come because what they're offering. But here, the, what he's trying to do is is used that to pull us away uh, and pull our confidence away because this word is true, it is consistent, it is factual, it cannot be moved, it cannot be altered, it cannot be changed, and it works. It is real. Hallelujah. So I want to tell you now. Uh, let me let me let me let me go down. Now let me go to verse thirty-two. Matthew six thirty-two says, "For after." All these things do the Gentiles, the sinners see. 
For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. So God knows he ain't blind. God sees everything. He knows what we have need of. He said, I'll supply all of your need. You understand? Because if the right need is supplied, it covers everything. I need to say that again. I'm done. If the right need is supplied, it covers everything. He said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. For your and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore, take no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the, the, the evil thereof. We don't have to worry about it. We can go on, do the things that we know to do that's right, do what's necessary, do everything you can, know what you can do and what you, what you can't. Hallelujah. And stop trying to do the things that you, stop trying to do the things that you can, but do everything you can and, and, and trust God because God is beyond a shadow of doubt. Father, right now in Jesus' name, I pray now that something that's been said that these people have heard will understand and look now upon them right now. Bind the hand of the devil here, there, and every day, everywhere. In the name of Jesus, cover our hearts and minds and souls. Keep us, God. Keep us near the cross. In the name of Jesus, bind the hand of the devil. Heal, deliver, and set free. This is our prayer. Save and sanctify in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. God bless you. Listen, don't forget uh, 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 LOV members and friends to share your why offer with Givelify, Lily of the Valley, Church of God of Christ, 976 Shala Avenue, or Cash App, the dollar sign Cash App, Lily of the Valley 26. If you do that, the Lord will bless you. Much love. The prophet is out.